section 5.5, we're going to be factoring trinomials. Now, anytime we're asked to factor, the first thing we should always do is check for a GCF. If I look in problem number 1, I have three terms, an x squared, a 9x, and an 18. Well, there's no common factor that can come out of all three of these terms, so then we notice that it's a trinomial, so we want to try to use our bottoms-up method. Okay, with that, we want to know what multiplies, we want factors that multiply to give us these outside, which there's a known one there, so 1 times 18 is 18. We want to know all the factors that can multiply to give us 18. Part of this is um, just guessing what the factors and could keep um, finding factors that multiply to give us 18 until we find ones that work. Now we want the factors that multiply to give us 18, a positive 18, and since that's a plus, we want them to add to give us 9. So it multiplies to give you the outside, but adds to give you this middle term. So that's all we have, a reminder that adds to give us 9. So whenever I start multiplying factors of 18, that's 1 times 18. Well, when I add those, I don't get 9, so I'm going to try again. 2 times 9 is 18. When I add those, I don't get um, 9, so I keep going. 3 times 6 is 18. Well, now I've found the factors that multiply to give us 18 and add to give us 9. So we want to take those factors at this point, and then our next process is we're going to take our first term in this problem, we're going to have 1, and we're going to split that x up, a 1x and a 1x. So we want to look at this like two fractions, 3 over 1 and 6 over 1, and try to simplify. There's nothing that this fraction simplifies to, so I'll write from the bottoms up, and this is where it gets its name from, 1x, which is just x, plus 3. And then on the other side, 1x, which is just x, plus 6. So this is now our factor form. And so the first few times it's um, going to look new to you and not learning this process, but we're going to just keep continuing until you start to figure it out. Number two, we're going to do similar. Check for GCF first. No GCF in all these terms, so we see it's trinomial. We want to try our bottoms up method. So there's a known one here. 1 times 32 is... 32. We're looking for what multiplies to give us 32, but is going to su um, subtract to give a add to give us. It's going to add to give us a negative 12. Okay. We want to add to give us. This tells us to add, and this tells us what we want to get. Alright, so let's start with all the factors of 32. Let's see, 1 times 32. When I add those, there's no possible way I can get a negative 12. And then let's see, 2 times 16 is 32. Negative and a negative, there's no sign, so since I know it's going to be a negative, I know both of my signs are going to have to be a negative, but that's still not going to get me a 12. Um... 3 doesn't go into 32, so let's try 4 times 8. Now, when I add them and get a negative 12, to add them, that means they would both need to be negative. And then to make sure that still applies, a negative times a negative is still a positive, 32. But when I add them, I get a negative 12. So that's my factors. Now I want to proceed to the next step, which is put this and this over your first term, so it's a 1x, putting the x up, okay, and now simplify if possible, 4 over 1 doesn't simplify, and negative 8 over 1 does not simplify, so we write from the bottoms up, so x, and since that's a negative 4, so it's x minus 4, and then this one is going to be x minus 8. Okay, let's look at the next one. Number three, we're looking for what multiplies to give us negative 24. Multiplies to give us 24. 
and because that's a negative, this negative sign tells me we want them to subtract to give us a positive 10. Subtract to give us a positive 10. All right, 24. I'm going to start with factors. I have 1 times 24. Can't get a 10 out of that when I subtract. 2 times 12. Now that's possible to get a 24. I need it to subtract to give me a positive 10. So it's 12 and I would subtract 2. Gives me a positive 10. Okay, so once you find your factors, then we're going to write our fraction out. And that's by taking our first, first term. So it's a 1x. And simplify. The fraction 2 over 1 doesn't simplify. And the fraction 12 over 1 doesn't. So we write from bottoms up. So it's going to be x minus 2. And x plus 12. Okay, and then we have number 24. We're going to multiply to give us our outside. So that's negative. That's going to be 24. And then we want it, since this sign is negative in front of it, we want it to subtract to give us our inside number. Subtract to give us a negative 2. Okay, so now we're going to start with factors of 24. 1 times 24 cannot subtract and give us a negative 2. 2 times 12. If I subtracted those, that would not give me a negative 2. 3 times 8 is a factor. So I just keep going until I find 1. And then what, 4 times 6. Now I can get a negative 2 out of that. If I get a negative 2... For this to be negative 2, my 6 needs to be negative. Okay, we said once we found our factors, we're going to put them over this first term, which is a 1x. And I do that on both sides. Simplify your fraction. Well, 4 over 1 doesn't simplify. And then on this side, negative 6 over 1 doesn't simplify. So I write from the bottoms up. x plus 4. And x minus 6.